Hello everybody, take a look at these delicious yeast rolls, the way grandma used to make them. They're really good, super tender, and absolutely easy to make. You start with half a cup of warm water, about 110 degrees, and then you want to add to that three tablespoons or two tablespoons of sugar, whatever you prefer, and then one packet of rapid rise yeast. You put that in and then you let it set for about five minutes uh, to activate. Take a look at it. You see how it's changed? It's been about five minutes and that yeast has really bloomed. Next, you want to add one half cup of room temperature whole milk, or grandma used to call it sweet milk. And then a teaspoon of kosher salt. And to that you want to add a quarter cup of cooking oil and give it a good stir. Once you get that stirred, you add two and a half cups of regular all-purpose flour and bring that together. Oh, I can remember my grandmother doing this so many times and it seemed like nothing when she did it. It was really no big deal. In fact, when she made bread, the rest of the meal was on her mind. This was just something extra that she did. And so we've got that together. We want to put a little flour on our bench and bring that dough out of the bowl. And it's a nice sticky dough. And we want to begin working it. And this is the fun part. You get to work the dough. And it's really simple. You just kind of push it around and turn it over and add just enough flour to keep it from being too sticky. And it, don't let this intimidate you. It's not hard at all. You just uh, keep adding enough flour, push it, and you can use a, uh, a bench scraper. It's kind of helpful if you have one, just like this. And you want to work it for about 10 minutes. And the more you work it, the more it becomes very pliable and consistent, just like this. And after about 10 minutes, when you poke it, it'll kind of spring back just a little, just like that, just right. We want to put it in an oiled bowl, cover it, and let it rise for an hour. I have the oven light on to bring up the temperature a bit. After an hour, this is how it's risen, and you want to punch it down. And Grandma always did hers with three rises, and so that's what we're going to do. So that's the first rise. Get it punched down, cover it back up. We're going to put it back in that same oven and let it rise for 30 minutes. And while that's rising, we're going to prepare our baking pan, put a little of oil or Crisco on it, keep it from sticking. And then after 30 minutes, we bring that uh, dough back out and it's risen. Again, this is the second rise. And it's time to punch that down and pull it out. We want to prepare it uh, for the baking. So we want to, again, just kind of work the dough a little bit and get the gas out of it. And then we need to divide it into individual rolls. I'm going to make 12 rolls, and so I'm going to divide this into three equal parts. Let's see, add that, get it evened up. And then we're going to divide those three in two, and then divide them one more time, and then we'll have 12. Just like that. It's really easy. And then we want to make them into individual rolls, and you just pull them around and bring them together. It's not hard. Just get them rounded up and pinch the bottoms and then set them down on the bottoms. It's simple. And then we want to cover them once again and put them back in that oven for the third rise for 45 minutes. And after 45 minutes you bring it out, preheat your oven to 370 degrees and look how they've risen. Beautiful. Pop them in for 15 to 17 minutes and out they come, beautiful golden brown. Take a look at that. Oh, yeast rolls, fantastic. We want to add a little melted butter on there. And they're just right. What do you think? Oh, man. There you go, Grandma's yeast rolls. Beautiful. Let's take a look at them. They're kind of hard to pull out of the pan because they're so soft. Look at that. Hmm. How about that? Look at the bottoms. Just right. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I wish Grandma was still around so she could try these and give me her opinion. But I think she'd like them. They're wonderful. Very good. Very soft. Well, that's Grandma's yeast rolls. Outstanding. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you give these a try. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.